morning, super cool party people, and welcome back to Vlogmas Day 5! I almost did both hands, and that would have been 10. It is currently about 9.30. Uh, I was thinking about getting up early today because my mom had to do a grocery shop for the company she works for. And I was like, oh, maybe I'll go with her and I'll do some Christmas shopping at the same time. But then my alarm went off at 7 because I was like, oh, I'll get up like super early. Wow, I look really pale. Oh, turns out I am real pale. Um, so I was like, yeah, I'll get up and I'll do the shop. But then the alarm went off and I was like... I don't know, and so I set it for like half an hour later, and then I was like, nah, and then I had dreams that I woke up at like 4 a.m., and so I was like, oh, this is perfect, like, I'll be up in time for the shop, and it was really weird, and then I was just laying in my bed, and I decided to get out of my bed, and I kinked my neck real bad, like, this hurts, that hurts, so that's great, that is a great start to the day, love everything. Presently. Anyway, plan today is still to attempt to get my pajamas at least well underway, but with this kink neck now, that's going to make things very difficult. So maybe I can stretch it out. Um, current plans, though, are to get yesterday's Vlogmas edited, maybe get some food in me, and um, again, try to fix this. I'm sad about it. It's the worst. I hate it when this happens. Alrighty, so vlog is up and scheduled. My bed is made. My room is mostly sorted. I guess I should get dressed now. Alrighty, here we go. So I am ready to take on the day now. I think the plan, I don't think I'm going to have enough time to get the uh, pajamas done today. Maybe, but I doubt it. So basically it is currently quarter after 11 and I haven't started at all, <laughs> at all. Um, so hopefully I can get everything cut out. In order to do that, I think one, I need to vacuum. <laughs> and two, I think I need to clear out this space as much as I can because then I think I should be able to lay everything out and um, pin everything. And today I'm going to be exceptionally sad that I don't have good fabric scissors because I don't think I can use my rotary blade. So it's going to be cutting all the pieces, but I'm sure I will make it work. My scissors that I use have yet to fail me fingers crossed or knock on wood that they will not fail me today but yeah that is the current plan so I'm just gonna get myself sorted start moving things grab the vacuum and hope for the best okay well floor is clean vacuumed I just have a massive pile of stuff on the bed and I have the fabric here if you remember it I love this fabric so much I'm not gonna lie I am a little bit concerned about this <laughs> It has been many a year since I used a pattern beyond like straight lines <laughs> and so I'm a little bit concerned. It'll probably be fine but I'm a little bit like eh. Anyway, I think the key is to do anything that runs on the fold first and get that cut out uh, and then just kind of piece everything around that. That's the plan. <laughs> It'll be fine, right? Um, it'll either be great or it'll be a failure. I'm really hoping it's not a failure because I just, I love this fabric so much. I love it. This is dinosaur. Um, so yeah, I was actually going to see if there was a YouTube video of somebody making this pattern just so I could like get a little bit of an extra jolt of help. So maybe I'll quickly look for one of those and then we're just going to get into it and hope for the best. <laughs> The snow is falling and the cold wind is blowing hard I'm locked inside tonight but my heart is somewhere else I'm thinking of you babe and all your crazy ways I miss you more right now it must be these holidays 
You know you're my everything The only present I want And oh what I give to be with you Under the mistletoe Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas yeah, I got Alrighty, you. we're a little bit of a mess as you can tell But I do have all the pieces cut out here Shirt, shirt, shorts collars etc and is oh here it is and I had to cut out some interfacing too so that is all cut out so now I just need to figure out what the heck I'm doing and where I want to start I also need to figure out how to do a French seam because apparently that's a good way to finish the raw edges so gonna gonna look into that I suppose and then I guess I can start pinning things to get, I don't know man it's been so long since I've sewn and sorry <laughs> I sew regularly it's been so long since I have followed a pattern so it's gonna be fun I'm sure we'll be fine it is currently about 3 30 um it took me forever to cut that out but I was taking my time and because I was cutting on the floor I kept taking breaks because like sitting and kneeling on the floor not the most comfortable for long periods of time but I'm currently watching a Christmas movie it's called hometown holiday it is terrible <laughs> like I hate movies or books that like just like exhibition in your face and this one like every time the the two sisters that are two of the main characters are together they're like oh my god do you remember that wedding we went to this year oh that was the same year that I acted oh did you miss New York where you were a really famous actor oh yeah that was the last time dad saw me on stage before you blah, blah, blah. and just like <laughs> I'm like a whiplash I'm like <laughs> anyway so that's what I'm doing I've got the instructions here except I might pull them up on my computer because they didn't print the greatest because uh, I print at grayscale and apparently it was not happy about that but I'm jazzed <laughs> that I have all the pieces cut out because that was like step one and also I had enough fabric I was a little bit concerned but I had enough I still have a little bit left over so yeah. Alrighty, it has been some time. I can let you know that on stitch three I had to stop and stitch rip because I just, the, the pocket and the shorts are like comparable in shape and size and I pressed it the wrong way and so on. But I now have these two things here that looks like the front of a short with a pocket in it. We're doing all right. I've also done my first two French seams and I looked them up, they weren't too bad. So like, yay me but that's as much progress that I've made today I uh, maybe I can get the shorts done minus the elastic today like that that would be great anyways pocket it's a pocket I was so jazzed when I noticed when I was printing out everything that these pajama pants had pockets anyway <laughs> we're on to the next step so I have to look closely I did try to look up a tutorial for this like a sew along but this one is from closet core and I think it's like the same pattern from closet case except slight variation. So I'm like, I don't recognize that piece. Anyway, this is where we're at and it is very exciting. Merry Christmas from a distance. I wish you were here tonight. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Yeah, I got you on my mind. Merry Christmas from a distance. I wish you were here tonight. What I give to have you here, my dear We could sing and laugh about our wonderful year Well, well, well Well, looky here, I now have something that looks like shorts God, these look giant um, Look, it's a pocket It's got a butt <laughs> There's thread everywhere I just tried them on, they do fit um, They're super low though But there is a waistband and um cuffs so it should be okay uh i need to go like make some food now though because i'm quite hungry but you know it's going all right <laughs> i definitely just had a moment of oh my god i've never sewn the cuff onto some pajama shorts before and then i was like have you ever actually done pockets before and you have pockets now so it's fine um I think after dinner I'll try to finish the shorts at least as much as I can because I can't do the elastic obviously I don't know if it's like a thread in and tops I don't know what the situation is but I'll get as far as I can and then we'll see about getting onto the shirt exciting alrighty it is quarter to nine dinner was had breaks were taken but I have a pair of shorts here look at them look at them they have pockets this pattern you can't really see them very well 
There's like this faux fly here too. You can see the stitching. I just need to put the elastic in them, uh, which I don't have. And um, then I can wear them and they fit. They fit pretty nicely except for the elastic situation. I'm not gonna lie, I did YOLO pretty hard on some parts and I'm sure I didn't do exactly what the pattern called for. There was an option to add piping and I did add pipe or I did buy piping, but this white was the only stuff I could get and I just don't think it quite goes with it. So I didn't, but that's okay. I just won't put piping on the shirt, which is now the next task. I need to look at the instructions because I don't feel like ironing the interfacing today. Although I did move my ironing pad up here, as you can see makes it so much better because I just kept having to press and iron and stuff. So having it higher is so much better because before I was like getting down on my knees and like bending over everything and it sucked. So I'm going to look at the instructions for the shirt um, and hopefully I can get a little bit of that constructed because it is, like I said, like quarter after or quarter to nine and I do work tomorrow. So I don't want to like stay up till midnight working on this, but who knows what will happen. Anyway, that's where we're at. Pretty jazzed. If I had got up earlier today, 100% probably could have almost finished everything, but it's fine. Alrighty, well, I am getting quite sleepy and my room's a mess, so I think I need to take a pause, but I have a pocket, whoop, and I have the upper collar part. I still have to do the this part and, you know, attach it all together, but you know, I think I made good progress. I have a pair of shorts completed, save the elastic. And um, I think I have like, what, one, two, five or six more steps. I mean, it, I say it like it's not gonna take a while, but it will take a while. I just looked at the next set of instructions and I'm like, nah, I'm good, I'm out. But aren't they so cute? Anyway, <sighs> I think we need to clean up that because it is 10.30 and then um, go, go from there. Yeah, there's just a mess everywhere, but I'm very impressed with how far I got. I, I hoped I would get it finished today, but I did not get up early enough. <laughs> and then once I did get up, I did not get started on this early enough, but that's okay. I have not followed a pattern in ages. The fact that I have made it this far with very few issues. <laughs> this collar, oh my goodness. I had an issue at first, and so I had to stop and stitch rip a little bit. And then I sewed the entire collar at the end of like attaching it. I realized that I didn't have bobbin thread in, so I sewed like none of the collar. <laughs> so it took me three attempts, but we got it now. So that is what matters. And I'm gonna go clean and then I will check in with you before I pass out. Alrighty, well, it probably took me a little bit longer than necessary to get from point A to point B, which is currently ready to go to bed. But in all honesty, my room was just disaster. Like <laughs> everything was where it shouldn't have been. My ottoman that usually sits over here was over there because of the whole space thing, all my makeup and everything that's usually by the window, was moved around the room because that's where I was ironing. But now everything is much, much better. So I think I'm gonna go to sleep now. I'm watching Princess Diaries too. I just finished watching the first Princess Diaries because, and this is the only reason I picked it up. I was sitting here and I, in my head all of a sudden I was like, hey there, ho there, how do you do? Um, and I was like, man, I should watch Princess Diaries. And so I did, and then I was like, should watch the second one and so I am I'm like 40 minutes in but I'm definitely not gonna finish it tonight because there's another hour and 15 left but maybe I'll watch it for a couple more minutes regardless I need to end the vlog here I'll probably transfer the footage and then cuddle up into bed very shortly to go to sleep because I do work tomorrow I got a message on my vlogmas day four it was yesterday yeah yesterday was day four from one of my co-workers going do you mind if I sew <laughs> the rest of this or sew some seat covers while I'm here because she was at work and I got it like two hours after the fact but I'm assuming she just went ahead and sewed them so there probably won't be anything left for me to sew I'm a little bit sad because like I would have loved to finish those last 11 but also like it's fine I can spend tomorrow like ripping up the uh cutting mat and because it's taped to the table and like rearranging some things that I can move the sewing machine into my coworker's office because it's hers and also she has one last seat cover in there because she wanted to do the last one which I fully agreed with because because she started it all anyways so off track I do have to work tomorrow doing other things besides sewing <laughs> but shortly here I'm gonna have to come up with 
new things like I was doing in like April and May. So like painting and everything. Ah, we'll see. Anyways, I have rambled long enough. Thanks for coming along today. We didn't quite make it there with the PJs, but I still feel good about it. And I will see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 6. Good night.